it looks like there is something here eight of cups with the strength card you could be a leo you can be a water sign you don't have to be but that's the energy that's out here i also have taurus energy out here with the hair font there seems to be a progression happening in your life it could be about anything but the pro progression requires you to walk away from something. So to me, this is telling me eight of cups energy. You're walking away from something and it took you the sh to walking away from something that you're not happy with anymore. Right. Whether it's a relationship, a home, a, a city, a job, whatever. It took you a lot of strength and courage to do this with the strength card. But by you doing this. It's making you really happy. Your life going is going to improve. You're going to feel better. Like you're just going to be in like this really good space emotionally. You're going to feel emotionally satisfied. Like this is something here that's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for your family. For those of you who have children or like it's going to make your house like a home. It's just going to be better for you. Some of y'all could be moving into a new home as well here too i feel like you're very excited about whatever this is with this page of wands energy and then here goes that hair fine energy taurus i feel like some of y'all are getting good news about like a job i feel like some of you are leveling up spiritually for sure like you're feeling more connected with like your real true self like you're connected to your spirit team your spirit guys like I, this definitely could be like a spiritual ascension for some of you guys now for some of y'all the page of wands and the hair font could totally be like you learning a spiritual lesson and leveling up and then opening up some new door to some new gift but i feel like strongly there's an opportunity here like a new door opening but the thing is with this eight of swords energy after this hair fine i feel like you're in your head about it like your your stress ten of wands energy you might be stressed because you have to move you might be stressed because there are some changes or, uh, you know, this could be like busy energy, like whatever this is, like you might be feeling overwhelmed. You know, don't don't think negatively about this because this is actually a good move for you. OK, this is good. So let's tap into this energy and see what this is about. So me, show me more here, spirit guides, for this reading for the collective, please. The nine of wands definitely a lot of strength energy here yeah okay you are like a spiritual warrior okay with the four of swords and the nine of wands energy you are someone here who's like definitely like a silent spiritual warrior does that make sense i hope that makes sense it's like you've healed you've done some work like you're someone here who makes like sound decisions like you don't make rash like last minute risk or like you really think about things okay this is good nine of nine of um pentacles on the bottom of the deck i don't know why you're stressing or like you don't trust something here i don't know i feel like y'all have been through a lot with this strength energy regardless and the nine of wands and the four of swords You've been through a lot. You've worked really hard. You didn't give up. You kept pushing. Or this is spirit telling you don't give up. Don't stop pushing here. Show me more. The death energy. Whatever this is, there's like something that has to end. But the thing is, I just told you there's a spiritual ascension happening. The death and rebirth energy. I feel like there's any. You're working on yourself, collective. I feel like you are just a different person. So, um, a oh, champagne life by Neo is playing. I I just feel like life is about to change for you. So a door is getting ready to open. I feel like half of this is spiritual in the five D, and then the other half is three D. Let's see here. Show me more. You're in your head though. Get out of your head, collective nine of swords stressed and having anxiety over something that you don't even need to be stressed and having anxiety about okay now we have the emperor and the page of pentacles aries energy taurus i just heard with the page of pentacles but this could be virgo listen the bottom of the deck is the star aquarius energy i think you need to let go of the past Whatever regrets that you had from the past with the five of cups and the six of cups, you need to let that go and heal. Release the past. Release this energy of you being concerned about what didn't work in the past. 
um, or what you did in the past, you know, let it go. Forgive yourself or forgive whoever did whatever they did to you because... Now, if this isn't your energy, there's a masculine here who is going through that. They're going through an ending. They're healing. <clears throat> and they want to take an offer somewhere. Show me this emperor. Who is this emperor and what does this have to do with the collective? The wheel and the two of swords. So there's a difficult... <laughs> I feel like this is you like having trouble... Moving forward <clears throat> and making a decision because it involves some form of change that I feel like you feel that's making you uncomfortable. What's this page of pentacles for the collective, please? Spirit gods, page of pentacles energy for the collective. Three of pentacles. So Capricorn energy here. So you for some of y'all, either this is you partnering with somebody else and teaming with someone else like someone wants to bring an offer to you or this is you taking an offer to someone and wanting to partner with them um collaborate with them somebody here has an offer that you won't be able to refuse it's going to be good for you it's going to be good for them like this is like i got something to bring to the table and i know you have something to bring to the table too let's work together let's be together but it involves some form of change. And you're just like stuck in your head with this eight of swords, nine of swords, and two of swords. You're like, I don't know what to do. The wheel is here. Whatever this is, it's destined. It's meant to be. This is divine timing. This is divine intervention. This is good luck. This is good fortune. So show me more here about the wheel here, spirit guides. Clarify the wheel. The Seven of Wands. You don't want to do this. What's this, seven, what's this Wheel of Fortune with the Seven of Wands? It's like you're resisting change. Show me more about this wheel. Yeah, you're overthinking it, I feel like, with this Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You are just overthinking the hell out of this shit. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> don't overthink it. Can we get more information about what this Emperor wants with this with the collective or uh let's see the emperor oh king of pentacles they may whatever this person wants they have something stable to offer you if this is a new job this person like legit is going to want to pay you whatever you're worth your value they see your value they see what you bring to the table right they see how you can improve something or make something better if this is about a relationship um they they want to work with you they want to be with you i i mean show me more about this king of pentacles please they could be a taurus virgo or a capricorn this person might be looking for a commitment something stable and something long term show me more about this king of pentacles please the, oh they're single Ooh. i just king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles okay now, this could be how this person sees you. They may see you as someone who has their own. Um, I love because she got her own, right? Neo, this person could be single as well, too. Wow. Interesting. Show me more about this King of Pentacles. Oh. 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 Okay. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, and the Six of Cups. This person sees you as like somebody they can grow old with and have a family with and have kids with. And somebody they can settle down with and have children with. Okay. But I feel like you might be like a little skeptical about this. So I don't know if this is... It could be this masculine's approach to you. That's throwing you off guard here. That's making you a little skeptical. Yeah, you're skeptical. The bottom of the deck is the Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. 
with the chariot card. I feel like, and the fool, okay? I feel like you really just like don't want to make a bad decision. I feel like you are like, is this person, can I trust this person? Like, does, does this person just want sex from me? Like, what are this person's motives? Like, you don't want to make a decision that you will regret, I feel like. But this person sees you as the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. And nine times out of ten, this person see is going to see you as somebody who is equally... They're going to see you as on an equal playing field or above that. They see you as divine feminine. I'm telling you that now. The Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups are out here. And I don't feel like this is two different people. I feel like this is you, Collective. Some of you guys can resonate as the masculine here, too. So flip it and switch it. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles is out here. And the Ten of Cups. You could be seeing Ten Ten. The Nine of Wands and the Nine of Swords is out here. 1999 could be significant. Show me more here about the situation. Um, the Wheel is out here too, by the way. So that's 10, 10, 10. Something real significant about an ending. Because we did see the Ten of Wands earlier on the bottom of the deck. And there goes the Nine of Cups. A wish fulfillment. Yeah, listen. I feel like I'm talking to... A uh, feminine who is like you're a leader, you're charismatic, you get a lot of attention here, or and plus you have an opportunity for some doors to be opening. There's a wish fulfillment, and for some of y'all, the wish fulfillment is a new job, a new opportunity involving some form of stability because it's pinnacles, page of pinnacles, three of pentacles, ten of pentacles energy. <clears throat> but the Ten of Cups and the Nine of Cups is out here. So it also tells me it's going to fulfill your material needs, pay your bills, keep you stable. You're going to be able to provide for your family um, and possibly for like your kids. Like you're going to be able to provi provide a future for you and your children, whether you have them or not now, you know, or your family. Wow. So now we have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups out here. I'm telling you, this person sees you as the Divine Feminine. <clears throat> Temperance energy on the bottom of the deck. This is definitely Divine Timing. A wish fulfillment. Like something that's going to make you really, really, really happy on the inside. But it's also money's looking great. Okay. Show me more here. One more for this Queen of Wands. Hey, listen, whatever you're feeling led to do right now, just do it. Okay, just do it. Because you're in this really magical energy. Aw, Ace of Cups. And the Four of Pentacles. I feel like y'all have, like, such a special spirit. Like, I'm talking to a feminine who has, like, such a special spirit. Like, you legit are grateful for what you have now and you're not complaining about a thing. But do you want more? Yes. Are you working towards something bitter, bigger and better? Yes, you are. This is you, like, in really, really great energy, I feel like. You have new love coming in. You're about to be really, really happy. Mm-hmm. Show me more on this Ace of Cups. And you're going to be so grateful. You're going to be so grateful. Because I feel like you're about to have everything you've been waiting for. Seven of Pentacles. Because I feel like you've invested so much into yourself. Loving yourself. And just being present in the moment. And just... You know, deciding, you know what, I'm going to do what matters the most for me today, right now. That's what means the most to me. So, like, that energy, I feel like when this Queen of Wands, you, by you showing up in that energy and practicing that gratitude, however you do that, right? Because everybody is practicing that different. Whether it's you journaling, whether you praying or speaking to your spirit guides or just talking to the universe, whatever it is. Or you showing up in a loving kind way to other people you're manifesting something new nine of cups and the ace of pentacles is legit with the wheel yeah show me more about this ace of cups for the collective please really beautiful energy yeah success this is success you guys it's like you made it you and a whole new world of opportunities are opening up for you you are ready and open to receive 
because you planted these seeds and you took your time, you didn't rush it. <clears throat> you know, you didn't skip a step. You put in the work. Okay, you put in that work. Sh show me more. Yep. And as I say, you put in that work. Look what came out. The judgment. You really put in that work. <clears throat> Scorpio energy. And yeah, you did. Three of wands. Damn. Y'all put in so much work, effort, and energy into yourself. Like, this is real beautiful. Your future looks real bright, collective. Like, seriously it looks so dang on and the temperance is back on the bottom of the deck oh what else do we have here show me about this three of wands spirit guides so your ships are coming in something that you are expecting is coming in so you might feel this energy <clears throat> or you know it's coming in because you work for it the law of attraction Look at this. The um, something you've been waiting for, something that you made sacrifices for, the hangman Pisces energy with the Knight of Swords. If you've been experiencing any delays or you've been waiting on something, something is about to pick up progress. It's about to pick up speed and it's coming in hot. Okay. It's coming in hot. I feel like you're waiting on it. Two of Wands, Eight of Wands. You, you're waiting on this. It's coming. <clears throat> Show me more about this three of wands. Yeah. I know you've been waiting on it and you're like, dang, is it coming? Did I miss it? Like, I'm bored now. What's happening? The sun. It's coming. So don't be discouraged. Don't feel, don't be in your feelings. And I know that's hard. I do. I know it's hard. Leo energy, Pisces energy with the hangman and the sun card being here. So you will be happy. Like, it's okay. Show me the sun card, spirit guides. Clarify the sun card for the collective. Yeah. Happiness, joy, awareness. You are rising above something. Okay. You're just rising above something and learning something. Okay. This could be some of y'all getting a promotion. This could be like a raise. This could be like... Spiritual clarity and awareness. It, yeah. Some of y'all, somebody here might be in the spotlight or you're about to be in the spotlight. Somebody may find you. If you're on a platform, somebody here is going to find you. Show me what this Six of Wands is, Spirit Gods. Six of Wands, please. It's too many, Spirit Gods. Show me the Six of Wands. I feel like you're about to have a... Yeah, hold on. You, I told you you manifested this. You waited a long time and delays and blocks are being removed. Whatever was taken a long time with the Knight of Pentacles and the ma Magician and the Chariot, it's taking off. If you've been working on something for a long time, don't give up. Persevere. Keep moving forward. Keep your eyes on the prize. Like, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Don't let anything distract you right now. Because now is a very important time. I don't give a damn what's not working right now. Stay with it. Stick with it. For those of you who know, like, I want to do this. This is where I want to be. I'm not going to give up. I know this is taking a long time with this Knight of Pentacles energy because this is like the slowest moving energy in the deck. But this is also about like building brick by brick, right? Layer by layer, like taking your time and not allowing anybody to rush you. And, you know, like you may not have everything right now, but I feel like you're getting there because you were in this Queen of Wands energy. You manifested this. You work really hard. The manifestation, yes, there's magic in the manifestation, but the Queen of Wands isn't just about magic and charisma they put in the actual fucking work they did the work they did not give up they were in the queen of wands strength energy and the queen of wands and the strength card is out here hello along with the death and rebirth card you built this you did this no one is going to be able to stop you the universe sees that this is the law of karma right the law of attraction excuse me the law of attraction says whatever you put into it you must get out of it so keep pressing forward because like something here is really getting ready to pick up speed so like what's for you what's meant for you is never going to like you know miss you
even though you might be feeling like, oh my God, I missed the train. I missed the opportunity. No, you no, you didn't. No, you didn't. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. No, you didn't. <sighs> Dang. <clears throat> you Empress, you have a lot of people watching you. There are a lot of people who want to be with you. They're looking at you. They find you real attractive. But all these people are not the best for you. Okay? You got a couple players looking at you. Anybody who wronged you in the past, who showed up in, in devil energy, or who showed up and, like, played you, they're going to be feeling played after, after this plays itself out. They're going to be feeling played. Karma's here. Karma for all these other people who were in this Nine of Wands energy who tried to treat you like an option with the Seven of Cups in the Nine of Wands energy and the Empress, they're going to get all this karma. Their, new, their karma is seeing this new beginning. Watch you in this new beginning, Empress. Okay? It's going to be a lot of conflict behind a new beginning coming in for you because whatever's coming in is coming in high. I'm telling you. Two eights here, the eight of wands and the eight of pentacles. There's going to be issues over this. All right. Well, you got your divine masculine and your divine feminine out here. You got an opportunity for new love. I feel like there's a spiritual ascension happening for you. Blah, 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 blah. The key here is walk away from whatever it is that didn't serve you. You were strong enough to do it. Keep pushing forward. Persevere. Keep your eye on the prize. Do, do not allow stupid people to distract you. Do not allow people who are unhealed to distract you. Don't allow the past to distract you. You know? Because this is, this is spiritual warrior energy right here. Okay? The four of swords and the nine of wands and the death and rebirth card. This wasn't easy. Yeah. Anyway, I love y'all. That's going to be the end of this reading. You could be any zodiac sign, okay? You really can. Everybody is out here. So I will see you all later. I love you. Have a wonderful, beautiful holiday week, weekend. Even if it's not a holiday where you are and you don't celebrate. I love you guys. I'll see you soon.